In this video I am going to talk about setting up Wi-Fi protected setup. WPS, on MikroTik equipment. And why it is applied at all. WPS, this is a feature that provides quick access to a wireless network without the need to enter a passphrase. As we know, for secure Wi-Fi usage, it is required to use very long passwords. Preferably more than 16 characters, and even better around 20 characters. And if it's 20 characters with various special symbols, uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and so on. It's very problematic to enter, for example, on a TV using a remote control. Even more challenging is entering such a password on, for instance, a printer, which doesn't have a keyboard at all. Therefore, for such devices, there is a WPS operating mode. The principle of its operation is as follows. A button on the wireless equipment is pressed. The button can be either physical or virtual on the MikroTik interface. After that, the WPS mode is activated for two minutes. If someone connects to our wireless network within two minutes, WPS will be disabled for the next device. You need to press the WPS button again. If no one connects within two minutes, then, of course, WPS will be automatically disabled. The WPS button should be pressed every time someone connects to the network. The password is transmitted to the device. So it's not a method to hide the password from all your devices. Plus, in addition, at the time of pressing WPS and during broadcasting, a malicious people can connect to your network and learn your password. So be careful. Don't use WPS on particularly secure networks. It would also like to note that on many of our devices, there is a physical button, and all devices with a Wi-Fi module have a virtual WPS button. Here is the WPS accept. In Winbox or web interface the WPS button can be found on a quick set page. You can also find the WPS button if you go to wireless and double click on one of the wireless interfaces. If after pushing the WPS accept button it seems that nothing happens. You can check the logs to get more details. To push the WPS button on the MikroTik router using the command line, execute. You can also completely disable the WPS mode in the settings of your wireless WPS mode. So you can choose the WPS mode disable. WPS button. WPS button holding for 5 seconds. Virtual button only. That is, the virtual button only means that we can enable WPS mode using the MikroTik interface. That is, by going inside MikroTik. I would also like to note that MikroTik does not support PIN code mode. When we try to connect, for example, some devices from other manufacturers, there is often an option. Look at five, eight digits on the box and enter them to connect. MikroTik cannot do this because it is an unprotected mode. And it is very dangerous when access points work in controlled access point system manager mode. Well, and in general, the discussion about WPS is over. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Your support means a lot. Stay tuned for more exciting content. Until next time, take care.